Okay, so I've been slipping on the spiritual spiritual principles, the basic spiritual principles. We did one. Okay, so this is two, okay? And that's because I've been doing a lot. But it says there is an underlying indwelling creative force infusing all of life including ourselves what does that mean to me and what do i believe that this means i believe that there is something that we're not aware of that we should be aware of um that is infusing creativity in all of our lives and the only way you would know this is if you are in tune with the force that's infusing it, the force that's putting it into us. Like I'm a believer and in the beginning, God, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. He created man and woman. He created the, the firmament. He created, he separated like, like these things are massive to us as creators. Um, whether you see the Bible as a, guide or just a regular book i need you to understand that in the beginning creation was and so that's been infused put immersed in us whether we like it or not so the i was created in the likeness and the image of god i am the creation of god and i was created in his likeness and his image so that has been infusing me so by my birthright i am created to whether I know it or not, it's indwelling, it's embedded in me. It's in my soul, it's in my spirit. It's so it's like, the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof and they that dwells therein. This creator created the universe, right? He created the world, he created you and I. And this is all of life. So as it says, it says there is an underlying something that you're not aware of, indwelling, creative force, infusing all of life, including ourselves, including ourselves. There is, and that force is what drives creativity within us as well. So you guys, I mean, I mean, that part. <laughs>